Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to play along with Mixed Media Mayhem and the prompts today were Glitter Paste, Paintbrush, and Rainbow. So I took out my Studio Calico Color Theory frames that I got in their um, sale at the end of November for their Black Friday sale. And so I thought I'd use those in, they come in rainbow colors, so I'd decided I was going to use them as part of my rainbow and I've got all of these not quite two by two pictures of my oldest and she did her makeup for June 2023 for pride month so she did um different flags for her eye makeup so I'm just gonna lay these out kind of how I think they're gonna go it's gonna change up here but that's okay <laughs> so so I have these, I think there's eight of them, two, four, six, yeah, eight pictures that I'm going to do. And I'm going to, this is roughly where the frames and stuff are going to go. Um, I am going to try and use these paintbrushes because paintbrush is one of my options and, or my prompts that I need. And so I really like these ones. They're from some assemblage required. They have an acrylic piece, a wood kind of piece, and then a plastic piece that goes on top but they're pretty and I like them. So I thought I was going to use them all, but spoiler alert, I don't use them all. Um, but that was what I was kind of thinking because I knew those needed to get on. Um, I already have um, rainbow on here, but I am going to change the background to rainbow with my inks that I've pulled out. And so now I'm just going to pencil out where I think everything is going to go and where the photo is going to go, just so I have an idea when I go to put it back on where things are. It's all going to change a bit, but that's okay. <laughs> so I don't want you to watch all of this, but it was a little fiddly. Um, it was very fiddly. It was a very, very fiddly um, layout this week, and which is what it is. But the process actually took me over three hours to do which seems crazy and I lost the last part of my footage when I'm finishing my embellishing so there are some um, close-ups at the end of the video for like extra close-ups because I've lost some of it so I did take those that yellow and orange or the red and orange one apart um, and then I was like, oh, why did I do that? And so just drawing some more of the lines, I labeled each of those strips on the top so I could see which strip I was doing because I figured I would turn this sideways and use some of my masking tape to um, make some pretty clean lines. And then I, I mess up. So this is not what it's going to be, but I left this part in. So I'm just going to take my ink pad and smear it across and I like the brush strokes because the brushes are going to be on there so it kind of reminds me of brush strokes with the paint brushes and then I pull out this pink fresh one which has no brush strokes because it's a very juicy ink pad I'm like hmm I'm gonna have to figure that out because <laughs> the rest of the color theory are going to be um, more like what I have going on with that brick red and then I'm still thinking I'm going to do this very specifically and then I put yellow on instead of orange and I go oh oops <laughs> this is what I was trying not to do when I labeled my columns but eh, it is what it is and so I just go right over top of that yellow with the orange and then put my yellow in and then I don't like that little bit of a line so I'm gonna pull some of this over top and then my green and then I decided I need more green. And then I'm just using the tape now to hold my page down so it doesn't move. And then this purple. And then I'm going to take this and kind of like, I was trying to get some brush strokes. And then so I tried my brush and it's not working as well as I want it to. So then I'm going to take this dark one and smear it a bit and that does what I want it to and that brighter purple is not really going to show when it's done anyway and so I have my rainbow in a couple different ways and then I thought I'd blend this a little bit with a wet wipe 
So it's alcohol based and so is this ink. So it smears it pretty good in some spots. Like the blue, you really could see it happen. In the other ones, it did it too. It just wasn't as visible on camera. And then I thought I'd back these in white. And so I am thinking about it. And so this is kind of what it would look like if I backed it in white. And I'm still thinking about it. I'm not sure if that's where I want to go. Um, or like this. I like the graphic nature of this one. So I'm still thinking like this is what it's going to look like. Mm, but I still have to get my glitter paste on. So I'm going to move on to that step and think about that white background. So I'm just going to use my tape again and tape this down. Just using the same tape as before. And then this is this Nouveau glitter paste. And um, this is hearts, but they're in an arch form. So I'm going to call that rainbow number three. <laughs> so, And then this is going to go all across the page. So I'm going to skip ahead on this because you don't need to see me do all four quadrants, but I, I do a bit of this, get good coverage, pull it off, move it down a bit. It's dry enough that it's not dry, but that middle part's mostly going to get covered with stuff anyway. And then this is what it looks like. I use my heat gun because I get a little impatient. And then now I'm going to let that dry some more. And so this is what these are going to look like. And this becomes a really fussy little bit. And I kind of wish I had turned this over. And you're going to see I'm going to use an exacto knife here right away. So I'm still thinking about using the white. And I decide really quickly not, not going to do it. And this is where I'm going to cut some of these frames that are overlapping because I want some of the frames like where the pictures are, I want the frames from the other colors to go in behind, but I want, because I have one in each and the way they overlap, like this one here, there's overlapping from the red, which goes underneath, so that's okay, but there's overlapping from that yellow. So I wanna take this yellow out, and so it was really fiddly. So I should have maybe figured out where I wanted to cut and then glued it and then had one big piece to put back on here but I didn't do that and so I cut out quite a bit of this part of the process because putting in the picture it moves and it moves and it moves and man this was so fiddly like so fiddly I don't know if I would do all these frames again I love how the page turned out but man like look at it fiddle 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 I should have just taped that, glued that one down, but I wanted to make sure they got in the right spots. And so now I'm gluing. And so I don't make you watch all the gluing either because, oh, so it, was, it was really fiddly. Like this probably took me over an hour to just glue these silly frames down because I wanted them just so. And I liked the graphic nature of them interacting and being above and below and, but doing that was not for the faint of heart. So, and there, they're all on now. So, <laughs> yay, you didn't have to watch that. Then I pulled out some um, word stickers and most of these are from Studio Calico or Ellie Edwards. I will tell you the ones that actually get on the page in the video, but a lot of them do not. So the top green one I just put down said acceptance and the one that I'm putting underneath here says write your story and because of the glitter paste it's a little hard to get on here and so I'm just going to pull out a whole bunch of different ones do 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 what am I doing? Okay, so I'm going to pull out this one. And this one says, take time to do what makes your soul happy. So I thought maybe down here, it's going to go right up top in this not glittered spot, which I like the way it really looks there. And then getting this paintbrush on here. 
and I decided to get the paintbrushes on because they're going to get glued on and these film strips are still moving a little bit. Um, but I didn't want to add any more glue. This has backing on it, so I'm just, it's sticky. So I'm going to do, use the sticky part of that one because the sticky is really sticky. And then a little bit of glue on this. And I tried to throw it at my book, my page, not on purpose. <laughs> but and then this little um, piece, which is the metal on the paintbrush. And then just going to hold it there for a second and use my wet wipe to take some of that extra glue off. And I like that. And oh, there's my head grabbing some more stuff. So I do, this is a, a box that I have that has a whole bunch of different stuff in. So I decided that I do want to have some more of those word strips in each of those columns because why not? And I am going to try and keep it very color matched in the strips. And so I also pulled out those cameras from Studio Calico. There's going to get a yellow, a blue, and a purple one on it. Um, what you don't see is a whole bunch of enameled stars and hearts. And I also use 49 and Market, um, one of their stamp sets. And it was from the fall release. And I used, um, I bought the embellishment pack too. So I used a whole bunch of those butterflies. And here we go. <laughs> so I did do these a little bit longer. Um, for the close-ups because I obviously missed quite a bit of my last bit of stuff. Um, and then the, the, the letters are um, pride there and they're just a dollar store find so that I've had forever. So you can see some of the hearts and some of the color is a little overlapping to the next one but not super overlapping. And I put the three uh, orange, green, and blue paintbrushes on. And so there's the purple camera. I need to do some tiny attachment staples on each of the columns because why not? And yeah, I really do like the way it turned out. It was just super, super fiddly. I do love how those glitter hearts look. And so if you liked my video today, make sure you give me a thumbs up. There's a couple other videos here. And if you haven't checked out the other creators that are doing mixed media mayhem, make sure you check them out. Thanks a lot. Bye.